What's up, guys? Welcome back once again to another episode of Boom Beach with me, Molt. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you enjoy everything that I have to offer. Go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button if you have not, and sit back, relax, and let's jump into this thing, all right? <laughs> um, so, uh, this game is a lot of fun. I definitely like it. Claim reward. I'm still learning a lot. I'm not watching any videos. I just realized I got super close to the camera. <laughs> Um, I'm not watching any videos on this online because I think the way that I learn best is by doing things on my own. So, a couple things that I've learned is when you remove a tree, I can't remove these because I'm not a high enough level. I've removed all the low level ones. Unless they're, can I remove that? No. Um, so one thing that I know is that when you remove trees you get wood, which is awesome. So that is great. Uh, I have a couple of residents now all here making me gold. Um, you only have one builder, which is a little bit annoying. How long do these take to upgrade? Five minutes? Yes. Because this video is going to be longer than five minutes, so we're definitely going to do that. Um, since the last episode, I now have a mortar level two. I have a machine gun level two. And um, I've upgraded my snipers to level three. Can I upgrade them again? I can. So I can upgrade those as well. My headquarters is now level four. Um, I have an armory where you can uh, go in here and upgrade your troops. I really want to upgrade my heavy. Um, that's the second troop right there. Um, but I'm not sure if I would rather do that. Uh, I need to get to experience level 9. One thing I like about this is that it's hard to rush your base in um, Boom Beach because they actually make it to where you have to be a certain experience level. Um, so like I can't just buy a bunch of gems and upgrade my headquarters right now to level 5. Why? Because I'm not experienced level 9. So that's awesome. Good for them. Hopefully that'll pace things out. Um, also another thing that I have learned is... Oh gosh. I probably just wasted some of that gold. But now I can go in here and we can upgrade our heavy. Nice. Three hours? Yes please. So he's going to get uh, 80 more health, 200 more training costs, Ugh, only two more damage per second. Um, but yeah, there we go. So what else? Um, when your troops are, when your troops come back from, why did I just get all of that again? <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was funny. All right, let's go ahead and go on the attack. One thing that I think is gonna be awesome about this is I can give you guys multiple attacks in one video because um, all of my troops aren't going to be dead. You know what I'm saying? So these are real people right here, Mr. That Guy and Antoine. Um, there's my resource base. I don't really understand this thing yet. I know that it stores stuff for me. Um, so uh, you can upgrade the sawmill because it's located on the resource base, the resources. Uh, so this thing, so those boats outside of my um, thing, I imagine, are are this. So the boats off, outside my base come from that resource base. So that's awesome. Um, this up here shows when villages have lost. So I can go in here and earlier one of these villages lost. Um, so a free village. What's that? This gold is transported to your home island with boats. Oh nice. So every time you defeat something you get gold per hour. That's cool. Alright let's go ahead and attack this thing. Take it out. I'm still learning about this but uh, oof. So this thing right here actually is pretty long range. Um, I'm curious as to whether I will be able to I think that it's range on it is really really long uh, let's go ahead and drop down all of our troops though so we'll get him we'll get our heavy in there as the tank first um, and we'll have him go straight for this thing yep and then we will get our other troops in as well um, so he's running back there already and that thing is just shooting long range right now so let's go ahead and drop another flare up there so they go after that and then we can shoot a couple missiles at it as well to help take it out it actually is doing a whole lot of damage let's go ahead and heal up our troops right there there we go so that's going to be good um, the little med pack definitely helps a lot and they're going to be able to take that thing out and one thing else that I noticed is as you destroy things around the base the life of the headquarters goes down so watch right as they take this gun down see the life of the headquarters went down um, so yeah so you can decide and when you destroy things it gives you extra points to use for your flares or your med kits and whatnot um, 
So depending on how far away weapons are, you can choose to go after that kind of stuff to build up uh, your mortars or your um, missiles from your boat, whatever the freak it is, to send home. So now I'm going to get 40 gold per hour from that little thing right there. Let's go ahead back and um, let's train up. Let's reinforce this bad boy that'll only take a minute. Okay, so be patient. Gosh. So we're going to reinforce that. I'm going to drink some of my coffee. It's a cat mug. <laughs> That's why there's a cat tail on the back of it. Nice, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Uh, this thing's almost done. Wow. Has it really already been five minutes? It has. Crushing it. Um, so we have our sawmill right now at level four. We are going to need to upgrade our gold storage again pretty soon. And we can't build anything new. Everything else comes at headquarter level seven. Wow. And I'm at headquarter level four. Seven, seven, eight, eight, seven, nine. Defenses. Do I get anything at level five? Yes, yeah, so I'll get another sniper tower at level five. And I'll get a sculptor, which builds powerful statues. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and upgrade our gold storage to ours so that we can store more gold, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, why is this one not done yet? We still have a minute. But um, I'm really excited for the launch of this game in March, not only because it's going to bring a lot more traffic to my channel, but because it means good things for Supercell. Like, there's my Instagram uh, you guys can see it up there <laughs> and yeah but um so I'm excited for this because that means good things for Supercell and you know I like Clash of Clans but I also like the company that made it which is Supercell uh, and this game is really really cool because it has a lot of similarities to that it's made by the same people blah 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 um, so I think that as this grows in popularity it's gonna be really really cool and um, Exciting to see what kind of stuff happens with it. Um, I'm going to take this mine and put it right here in front of this thing. Um, so eventually, as I clear out all these trees and whatnot, and we get back here to the waterfall, we'll go swimming. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, we'll, we'll begin expanding our base and whatnot. But we can go back out once again, um, and we're going to need to explore again pretty soon. Let's see. We can explore up here. Let's see what's going on. Wow. <clears throat> let's go ahead and just take out this one well let's see what these guys are let's see what these guys are working with so you can scout out the base for free so he does have a lot of weapons um, he has an okay amount of resources let's see what this guy's working with scout him out <clears throat> it is pretty sweet that you can go scout a base before attacking it so he has a bunch of mines out um, that I don't really want to deal with I do think we would be able to take out the left side of his base pretty well and work our way around the back. Should we try it? Uh, let's go back out and check. Let's scout out this one guy over here. Um, and then we might go do it. Let's see which one. So this guy has a really, really good amount of resources. Um, and his machine gun is under construction right now, which is perfect for us. Um, and we can all fit through this little hole right here. So why don't we go ahead and why don't we, why don't we take this base? So we're going to attack this one. And we're going to send our heavy in first and then here come the other troops and we're gonna send him right here here come the other the other the other other troops um, let's knock this out there we go and let's go ahead and heal up our guys right here good and you know we'll just let them take this out as they're in that heal spell and I'll start shooting at this thing there they go and then yep we're gonna have them come after this so they're already attacking that. Once they are done with attacking this, and I'm gonna have them go straight for that mortar over there. So we're gonna drop this spell. This spell. We're gonna drop this light thing down on the mortar, and hopefully, um, no, they're they're not getting close enough to it to hurt it too much. There they go, and that's good. Now we're gonna have them all focus on this, and we're gonna take it out. I don't think we lost that many troops. We might have lost two. Uh, I think we lost two of our little infantry guys. Um, so that's good. This part always takes forever, taking down the, the headquarters. Um, but again, guys, this is going to be great because I think we're going to be able to do, like, we can do challenges where you guys give me an army composition and you see how many bases I can take out with it. So I do it until they're all dead, uh, is what it's going to look like. I think that'll be a lot of fun. 
So as more as more of you guys start to play, I, mean, I just realized that I just got all that gold and I don't. No, good. Good thing I explored before I got that because otherwise a lot of that would have been wasted. Um, so again, let's we can we can go again. Let's scout this thing, see what he's got going on. So he does have a lot of mines uh, around here. Um, he has a lot of defenses all a little all centralized right there. But that also means that I should be able to heal up pretty well. Um, where is his? Why do Why do I not see? Oh, it's right there. Goodness gracious, I'm freaking blind. Um, all right, so let's attack <clears throat> this one and let's see what we can do uh, with this thing. So we'll drop our heavies off. Um, we're gonna drop them all off. Now let's go ahead and have them attack this thing first right here. Yep miss it and then we're gonna heal spell them or heal spell we're gonna heal them up like that go ahead take that out and then yep keep working your way around guys and I'm gonna save for one more so come on come on med pack so my heavy's done now um, good so the mortar's going after the ones in there which is really stupid that he's doing that so let's go take out the mortar now and that's gonna be good. I really like this. It's fun because you, there's a whole new um, type of strategy when it comes to this game where the flares are awesome because you get a you get to work your way around stuff. You have to be really careful how you use um, how you use everything else. So that's just fun because there's a lot more that goes into play with this, and I like it because it seems more realistic, if you will, <laughs> if you will, if you will. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just fun. I, I like it a lot so far. Somebody in the comments said something about um, how this is going to be just like Samurai Siege. I'm going to play it for a little bit, and then because I suck, I quit. Whatever. Um, I quit playing Samurai Siege because I was really, really focusing on Clash. I was about to hit Town Hall 9 when I started playing it, all this kind of stuff. Um, but now I'm really trying to play a bunch of different games for you guys. Just because I think we all like gaming in general. We don't just like Clash of Clans. I think we all like gaming. Um, so, yeah. Sweet. I just got an award right there. Antoine just got wrecked by me. Take that. Another good little amount of loot. I probably should have explored before I did that. Um, oh. I can't explore anymore. I need to go upgrade my freaking radar. Nice. Alright, so we got to go back here and we got to upgrade our radar. Upgrade. Oh no. Wait, what's busy? An hour? Uh, let's just do it. We did it. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy talk that I just did that. <laughs> but we need to upgrade that thing really, really bad. Um, here we go. And we're about to get 10 more, so whatever. I'm okay with it. Let's go back in here. Let's train up our heavy. And let's train up these other guys. Reinforce. And reinforce so I think that that is going to be so these boats right here are the ones that come from that everything I defeat um, but I think that our first series once this launches is going to be the one where um, I have an army comp and I try and defeat as many people as I can with one army um, so that's going to be great I don't know what we'll call it one man army no that doesn't make any sense I don't know we'll figure it out you guys can comment down below if you think you have a cool name for that series but I'm calling dibs on that series um, so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching this has been fun I'm super excited about this um, there's a lot more that we can do in each episode of these so that'll be a little more interesting for you guys um, thank you for watching as always you guys rock you know what I mean that thanks for the support we're almost up to 33,000 subs already I just hit 32 with the freaks going on um, and that's it but uh, yeah I'll see you guys later as always, guys, thanks again for watching, and why don't you keep calm, and shoot, boom on, all right? See ya.